right, citizens of Buffalo, I'm back, and it's time for us to continue our GM mode with the Buffalo Sabres. Up here at the trade deadline, simulating year number one still, and it seems like uh, the Buffalo Sabres season is going pretty much the way we thought it would go. 26 wins, 30 losses, and 7-time overtime losses at the trade deadline, February 28th. So, uh, so I think it's safe to say that we're not going to be a playoff team this year unless we go on a crazy Ottawa Senator type run. Um, but I don't see that happening. And I'm also not making any trades to bring in NHL ready players this year. I'm also not bringing up our youngins from the Rochester Americans like uh, Sam Reinhart who are kicking ass right now. Look at that record, 34, 15, and 6. So I want to leave them down there. So we're not trying to help out our team for the rest of the year, but I'm also not trying to deliberately tank. Uh, I don't want to take ice time away from Evander Kane and Ryan O'Reilly and Jack Eichel, right? So we're just going to continue the course right here. Maybe unload some more veterans. Maybe make a few more trades. Got some fan comments here that we can go through. And the first one, just before we get into anything, talking about the trades that we made in the last video. The first one, it's about the injuries because the injuries were kicking our ass, man. This one's from Elliot Sand. If you go to League Settings Gameplay, you can turn injuries down. It helps. So... I mean, Jack Eichel, he, he had like three hamstring injuries in the last video. Um, for year number one, I did not want to turn off the injuries just because I wanted to see what the game was like so I'd have evidence for my review. Um, but w they're way too much. Now, I don't want to turn them off because, you know, the injuries kind of add a little bit of a story element to it, which I like. So they were at midway. I've already gone ahead and changed this. So I'm not going to put them all the way down. First from the end, all right? There you go, the injury occurrence. So we'll see if that helps it out at all. I think I did that for the previous games as well, so maybe I should have done that at the beginning of the year. But still, it's good to know uh, what the injuries are like when you just load up the game default, right? So, we've taken care of that. Now, what happened in the last video, I made a few trades. The major one, how do I get to the activity feed? The major one was to the Tampa Bay Lightning in acquiring Adam Ernie, who I'm hoping can be someone special for us. So... We also made a trade to the LA Kings. We traded Matt Ellis, who's like an older guy for us, a 2016 third round pick, ours, and a 2016 third round pick from Tampa. And we acquired a second round pick from this year, from LA, a third round pick from LA in this year as well. So we basically moved our two thirds and Matt Ellis up for a second and a third, all right? We didn't need Matt Ellis at all, so we got a second out of that and retained a third round pick. Nothing too spectacular there. But the big trade right there in the middle, Buffalo acquired left wing Adam Ernie and a 2016 third round pick from Tampa, which we used in the LA trade to acquire that second, and we gave them Matt Molson, all right? So I was asking you guys, what did you think about that trade? The third round pick is, you know, it's decent, but the real asset was Adam Ernie, because... He was listed as an elite at 20 years old, but his trade value was nice and low, right? So I didn't know how to read that, but we got some comments about this. First one from Iron Sagan. The Adam Ernie trade is a gamble. He has elite potential, but has only reached 72 overall by age 20. You see what I mean? For the rest of the season, play him on the first line and give him some other ice time, such as power play, 4-on-4, four four, and extra attacker. His morale will skyrocket because he's playing above his role, forcing his overall to climb. That was my idea exactly there, Iron Sagan. Uh, hang on, let me just bring this up. Manage roster. I'm still I'm still getting uh, I'm getting better at this still. Uh, edit lines. I'm pretty sure I already got him plenty of ice time. Like Adam Ernie, there he is, 72 overall. So he has grown already for us, which is nice. Uh, let me just go through some of these lineups. Special teams. Adam Ernie's right there, boys. So I've already given him the uh, ice time. Extra attackers. Larson. You know what, though? That's, no, that's four on four. Yeah, that's the, uh, no, 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 I don't need that. Extras, there, extra attacker. Sam Reinhart and Larson, right, I'll give Adam Ernie the extra attacker right here as well. I'll listen to you. Right wingers. The team's already kicking ass as well, so it's not like uh, this will all of a sudden turn the team around and Rochester won't make the playoffs, right? So we're really going to try to improve Adam Ernie. You can look at him, look at him on the uh, right side. Potential, medium, elite, 20 years old, 72 overall. You never know with this guy, all right? Want to get out there and maybe get a line mate for Jack Eichel in the future. So we'll see if uh, that ends up being a good trade or not so much a good trade, all right? Before we continue, let's go with another uh, fan comment on the Adam Ernie trade from Kai Breton. Make sure to keep high locker room chemistry in the AHL and keep giving Ernie ice time, and he should grow. 
I do not really trust that elite potential, but I had Brendan Lemieux grow to 91 overall from low elite potential and even less trade value. So if you play Ernie Wright, he can turn out to be good. Well, that's good news. So this guy had a player similar that ended up being 91 overall. If, if Ernie can get to 91, all he needs to get to is above Matt Molson, and it's a good trade, right? So... Yeah, so this guy wants locker room chemistry for AHL. You know what? I have kind of been neglecting that, haven't I? AHL, let me bring this up. Yeah, you have six-player meetings. All right, let me quickly take care of the morale issues for the AHL, see if we have any uh, from our main players here. Schaller, AHL top six, low. I want to thank you for the extra minutes you've been sending my way. Well, no problem. Great, we found a good balance that seems to work. You guys were saying that the, the, the second answer seems to be pretty good, <laughs> so I'll keep going with it. I wanted to thank you for the extra minutes you've been sending my way. Well, great, I think we found a good balance, blah, 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 blah. I just have these answers on, uh, like, speed dial for these guys, speed text. Send them right back to them. I think that the team is really gelling, and it's showing on the ice. Number two, let's see. <laughs> Does it work again? Holy shit, you guys were, you were getting number two. I think the uh, team is really gelling, and it's showing on the ice. I agree. Things have been going quite nicely. <laughs> I feel the locker room is a dysfunctional family. There's a number two again. I hear a lot of feedback like yours on contemplating some changes. No effect. Well, it's better than negative. Uh, let's see if it's negative again. The same? No effect. Yeah, all right. So I'm starting to learn. Number two is a really good one, boys. You guys weren't kidding. All right, so seems like that's about it. Yeah, there's Adam Ernie, but he's very happy, all right? So Adam Ernie is very happy. Let's just uh, try to keep that up. Now that I'm in morale, I might as well do it for the NHL as well. Hang on. NHL. There we go. Uh, oh, man. These guys. Donovan. I don't like to complain, but I'm having a tough time coming to grips with being scratched. Well, I'll deal with it. <laughs> there you go. Number two. Let's see. No effect. Yeah, I'll just keep this up. Thanks for the opportunity. The call up to the NHL feels great. I'm glad you are excited. Probably won't even get a game to play, but whatever. Positive effect. Yep. Same thing. Boom. My God. Yeah, you guys have already done your uh, experimenting on these morale systems, haven't you? <laughs> the second answer works for everything. All right. Uh, very good. So the last comment that we're going to go to here is based on the trade deadline because I was asking you guys, is there any other prospects out there that I should try to acquire? Daniel Morrissey says, Spencer Watson has the potential to be elite. I picked him up in free agency once where he was elite green. A player you also might want to keep your eye on in the draft is Makai Holdner. All the draft uh, choices already. I've had past GM modes where he's been a 90-plus overall player, and he usually is drafted in the 4th to 6th round. Potential gem. Wow. All right, well, make sure to come up with that comment again as we get closer to the draft. I'll try to remember that. But this guy's saying Spencer Watson. Now, he came up in the last video. I think it was because his trade value wasn't as high as others. Like, there was this guy... Uh, Dallas Stars, I forget his name. His trade value is a lot uh, a lot higher. Spencer Watson's was decent. Let's see if that's a trade that we can maybe make go through. I'd love wingers for Jack Eichel in the future. I know we have a few, but, you know, stack them up even more. Spencer Watson, there he is right there. Top six forward, high. Let's see, how old is he and all this stuff? How do I look at... Can I not click on his name? There we go. Do I got to left click it? What the hell? Oh, that's... How do I just, okay, do I have to click on this? Can I not look at the name from this screen? Do I have to click here and then go here? Ah, oh, there we go. All right, so he's 19 years old, top six forward. Was he strong in already? Skating, he's already a good skater. His physical is not going to be good, I figured that. Discipline's up there at 95, so you're going to be able to trust this guy as well. Yep, yep, and that could be very nice alongside of uh, Sam Reinhart or Jack Eichel. So let's put him in the trade. Let's see what we can possibly make happen here, all right? I don't know if I'll be able to get it done, but uh, let's just take a look at it. So, skaters matching block. Let's see, who do they want? They obviously want Jack Eichel, Ryan O'Reilly, Gergensen, Ristolainen, Bogosian, Ennis, Franzen. Uh, see, I want to hold on to Franzen for next year. Tyler Ennis, same thing. He's already a winger who's 85. I'd like to hold on to these guys. But George's, Donovan, Donovan... <sighs> Yeah, I was playing this guy earlier, but he's 25. Yeah, I could trade him in this as well. And Pissick I want to hold on to. So let me just throw George's in there. What's the contract like? Yeah, they can accept it. All right, well, man, his trade value is so much higher, though. George's. Let's go Donovan. Let's throw him in there as well. Very nice. Yeah, that will go through. All right, now, if we're getting rid of... If we're going after Watson, we can maybe trade a... Uh, 
a draft pick from our side or uh, a prospect from our side, like a winger or something. Hang on, let me go centers. Do we have any centers here? Estefan. I'd rather hold on to Estefan and Larson. These guys, top six forwards. I don't want to get rid of these guys. Let's see. I'm not even really, uh, yeah, 19 years old. He's basically the same thing, but a two-way forward. Face-offs at 70. You know, I got plenty of centers on this team. That might be, um, if I need it to go through, maybe I can go after that guy. Let me see if there's anyone else. I don't want to trade away Larson. Corneal. Uh, you know what? I can trade away this Corneal guy. There we go. Bottom six. This is a good player we're bringing in here, so I don't mind giving up some pieces. Adam Ernie, McGinn. I would rather hold on to McGinn. 83 with decent age, I'm pretty sure. Carrier, Felino. Uh, hold on to them. Right wingers. Let's see. Baptiste, no. Ennis, Bailey. Bailey is a top nine forward. He's got pretty good uh, trade value right there. 20 years old, 66 overall, physical. Okay, we could definitely make this trade go through. You know what? Justin Bailey, I don't think I need him. Let me throw that in there. Yeah, Justin Bailey. Los Angeles had too many skaters on their team. Corneal. You know what? This could go through. I don't even need to give up. I might not even need to give up Bailey here because they do want to give him up. And I could just... You know what? No, no, no. I'll throw Bailey in there. Because maybe I can get a draft pick out of this as well. Do they have any... Hang on a sec, boys. Any skaters matching the block? Other... No. Bottom six forward? No. Any goaltenders matching the block? No. All right. So let me just get somebody with no trade value. Add them into the deal and see if this makes makes sense at all. I have to reassess it once I have it up there, all right? Sabrin. There we go. All right, so that trade is approved. I think the trade value is higher on our end. So George's, I'm giving up. George's is the, uh, yeah, I can't see. What the hell? I can click on it. Can I not click on? What the hell? I was clicking I was clicking down right stick before. It wasn't popping up. Oh, my God. Well, you know, I wouldn't uh, doubt a glitch in this game. So George's, he is 31 years old. I don't mind giving him up. Donovan, I was hoping that maybe he could turn out to be something, but uh, he's been replaced. So we're fine there giving him up. Cornell. He is a bottom six forward. Could be used, but you got to give up something to get something here. And Josh Bailey, right winger. Justin Bailey, sorry. Right wing sniper, top nine forward. Nah, see, I'm going to replace a... You're basically moving up Bailey to get Watson. Watson is far better, though, so you got to add in. A center we're probably not going to use. Defenseman, maybe we could use. And a veteran. Yeah, I like that. I'm going to do it, boys. I'm going to add in a draft pick. See if I can uh, squeeze a draft pick out of this as well. Let's see. Uh, let's try to get the uh, third back from uh, Tampa Bay. Sure, why not? All right, so there it is. Will it go through? Let's see. There are possible moves. Carlo Koliakovo, yeah, I guess it's going to go through. Yeah, call it to the NHL. I am happy to accept this proposal on behalf of the Los Angeles Kings, and we consider it a done deal. There we go, boys. Spencer Watson is on the team, all right? So I made the trade. I brought in another rookie. We got a right wing in Spencer Watson, left wing in Adam Ernie. Boom. Boom, just like that. Uh, skaters, goalies, so we got to bring in some players here. Hang on, defense. One, two, three, four, five. We only have five defenders. Going to have to bring up somebody. In the system, uh, we'll bring up some shittier players here. Austin. Yeah, AHL top four. You can come up. There you go. Very nice. And then I think that should be good. Skaters, do I need to? I guess I got to bring up. I already got, yeah, I got enough goalies forwards bring up a shitty forward as well ah for god's sakes keep forgetting that it sorts by the uh, lower number first nevins what's your potential like ahl top six you could definitely play there you go confirm very nice so we're full edit lines i must do it boys just want to make sure that i'm not editing the ahl lines yeah i can do this best lines we're fine here best lines very nice and let me just make sure that I don't have the uh, the wrong guy scratched, all right? Jack, Jack, oh, he's injured, right? Jack Eichel is injured. Nevins, dude, dude, no, we don't need these guys playing at all. Good. All right, and then the AHL squad. See, I don't want to have to go best lines here because Adam Ernie, unfilled. McPherson, sure, I'll get him in there. Substituting all lines. Is that going to be it? Defense, yep, all right. And let me just go to scratch players. Who's scratched in this? Jacobs, I don't need to play. Key, don't need to play. Don't need to play you. Johansson, don't need to play you. All right, good. So there it is, all right? A little bit of a slower trade deadline. 
considering the game is slow and it slows my uh, my trading down. But uh, wow, look at this locker room chemistry for the AHL team. 76%, very nice. But there we go, all right? We brought in Spencer Watson. Oh my God, player meetings, here we go. They're going to be bitching about the trades, watch. <laughs> Nevins, oh, okay. He's thankful that I called him up. I'm glad you're excited, number two. Uh, same guy, all right, I'm glad you're excited. NHL, he was overdue for the NHL. You're like in the 60s. I'm not too thrilled with you trading away Josh George's. It was a hard decision. Sorry it affected you. <laughs> no effect. Being uh, being traded is a big change, but I'll make you proud of your choice. Who are you? Oh, I brought him. I don't <laughs> welcome aboard. I brought you in for roster concerns. That's it. Uh, there we go. I'm not happy you chose to tra trade away Matt, Matt Donovan. Shut the hell up. It was a hard de decision. <laughs> Everything is second choice. All right, very good. Do we have any AHL decisions now? No, we're good. Okay, there we go. So we had a nice uh, little trade deadline there. Let's simulate to the end of the regular season and see where we stand AHL-wise and NHL-wise. All right, calendar. Yeah, let's get this done now. All right, so the injuries have been lowered. We'll go, we'll just go off here four weeks. Simulate up to this day. That's fine. We can go through a chunk here. Uh, trade deadline. Yeah, I don't need that. Don't worry. And there is no actual scouting assignment. There is no actual, like... Uh, trade deadline day where your phones pop up so I can simulate right through it. So we're going to go... I wanted goaltenders, right? OHL this time, goaltender. Six weeks. we got to find that elite goaltender. Oh, hang on a second here. Coley a third and a third from this year. I have two thirds again this year. And they want... Oof, it's basically the same thing as LA did. Edit trade. I think i got to do that. It's the same kind of thing. I trade away a player I don't really care about. Carlo Coley a third from this year and a third from San Jose and L.A. Hang on. Uh, draft picks. My L.A. draft pick. Oh, no, no. my Sorry, sorry. St. Louis Blues draft pick from this year. San Jose. I still have a third from this year from L.A. and from Tampa Bay. So even trading away these two, I'm going to have another two. I'm going to bring back a second and bring back a third. So, again, trading away two-thirds to get a third and to move one of them up to the second with just trading away Carlo Koliakovo. Hell yeah. Proposed trade. Hell yeah. I like that for sure. Rochester Americans. Oh, I guess we just lost Carlo Koliakovo, so that's not good. Ah, you know what? Power of video editing. Oh, my God. That took forever. EA, you got to make these screens a lot faster. Jesus. All right, so I'm going to do a lot more power of video editing when I got to go through the line changes like that. That just takes so damn long. But Adam Ernie's back in there. I accidentally made a mistake, but uh, I got it all back in there. Right? I had to go best lines and just do it all over again. All right? So Coley has gone. We acquired another second round pick and a third. Very nice, very nice. Jack Eichel has returned to the lineup. <laughs> oh, my God. Fucking hell, man. Ah. Oh. This is really does not is really not fun when you got to do all this stuff. It really is not. Uh, Sixty seven. There you go. Yeah, confirm. Back to the AHL. Can can I move? These moves will result in your team being under the salary cap. What the hell is going on? Right wing. Can I just move somebody over to the AHL squad? I can't. <laughs> okay, hang on, hang on. Something's <sighs> power of video editing. Holy crap, man. Fucking roster changes. They take so long. Yeah, I'm just going to start editing this stuff out because, oh man, I get it, guys. I know you don't want to be watching me micromanage. Before, though, in the old games, like, like the, the game would move as fast as I could, like, move it around. Like, so much waiting now. Anyways, so we're going to get the rest of the uh, season done. We have some, of course, thanks to the opportunity. <laughs> I uh, The computer moved all my rosters around, so I had to just make sure everything was good. Uh, Ristolainen, what is this guy? What are you pissed off about? I'm not happy that you chose away to uh, you tr uh, chose to trade away Matt Donovan. It's a hard decision. Get over it though. No effect. Everyone's angry that Matt uh, Donovan is gone. That was necessary to bring in uh, Spencer. Uh, <laughs> shut up, David Legwan. I should have got rid of David Legwan. It was a hard decision. He had no trade value though, so whatever. All right, so there you go. Very nice. Quickly look at the AHL squad. This guy. Uh. Less enjoyable place for me. I don't care about you. It was a hard decision. It affected me in the wrong, the right. That had a positive on him. <laughs> so sometimes it works. Sometimes no effect. I'll take number two constantly. All right. Very good. Very good. Very good. All right. So let's continue with the simulation here. Hopefully we are not interrupted anymore. We did get to the uh, the trade deadline there, and 
another trade where we brought in that second round pick, which was nice. Hopefully we can just get some simulating done now and the injury bug has been turned down. Uh, Robin Lane, <laughs> just as I said, go to roster moves. Ah! Oh my God. All right. I, I quickly just got the goaltenders out there. Some more power of video editing for you guys. Oh my God, man. Combination of the injuries and the changing. Of Be right back. Oh my god, this is the most annoying thing ever. Every fucking two seconds, I gotta spend like five minutes making a few line changes. Ah, oh, simulate up to this day. Oh, this game is so slow. All right, whatever, man. Uh, uh, replace player. I don't fucking care. Just let me get through the season. I didn't think this video would be this long. All right, we're, at least we're getting some uh, losses. Now, you know what? Continue. You get injured, you don't get to play anymore. Blame EA. Takes way too long to change this stuff. Way too fucking long. Alright, well, the good news is that uh, I wanted to lose some games. We haven't won a single game since the trade deadline. The tank is on, baby. My locker room chemistry. Dismiss. I have no time for any of your complaints at this point. Uh, replace player. Baptiste, I know you're one of our good prospects, but I'll, I'll dress you for the playoffs. For right now, screw it. No, continue. Screw it, because then i got to change Adam Ernie. No, 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 no. We're going to keep going. There'll be another injury to happen to him, so when that happens, he can say, he can be substituted for the player who just got injured. All right, just keep this up. So some more losses. Look at the record for the Rochester Americans. They're way up there. 42 wins. They're, f they're fine. Jack Eichel has lost morale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My God, man. Jesus, this thing is a damn chore sometimes. All right, so player meetings available. Let's just get the regular season over and done with, so at least we can do a little bit of a wrap-up here. Simulate up to this day. Last three games of the season, New Jersey, we lose to them. Yeah, 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 dismiss. I don't need to choose the second answer over and over again. David Legwad has lost morale. Columbus Blue Jackets, the New York Islanders, lost, 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 lost. Man! Ever since those trades, our team really low oh, locker room chemistry, 48%. Not good. Not good at all. Especially compared to our 76 over there in Rochester. All right. So player meetings. Let's take a look at all this. And we'll do the uh, the season wrap up right here. And we'll lead it into the AHL playoffs. Where the hell do I go for morale? Oh, my God. This damn system. Morale. All right. So Jack Eichel disengaged. Oh, God. Please, don't get... Uh, Jack Eichel, I'm sorry. Why Why is he disengaged? <laughs> what does that mean? Uh, that could be dangerous, isn't it? To be honest, I really think this team needs a shake-up. The locker room is not in good shape. Well, I don't, don't ask for a trade here or anything. Oh, man. I, I should have been a little bit more careful here with Jack Eichel. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, individual performance. Lost morale for failing to make the playoffs. Ah, I see. Well, what did you expect? We weren't going to be a playoff team. Meet with the player. Uh, you know what? I'll go with number two. I'll listen to you guys. I'm contemplating some changes. Positive effect. Yeah, there we go. You know what? You don't get the second one. I want to piss you off. I'll go number four. Negative! Yeah. <laughs> Just guessing. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mike Weber. All right. Blah, blah, blah. No effect. Okay. And then the AHL squad. Let's see. Yeah, we got a few guys. I want to continue to make these guys happy. Um, the AHL playoffs will be necessary. And you know what? The next question is, do we have our, our young guy? You know, I don't even know if Jack Eichel would be, uh, eligible to play in the AHL. If I sent him back down, he might just return. Oh no, he would be because he's from, he's the, uh, yeah, yeah, Boston College. I think I could send a, the, um, Jack Eichel down to the AHL for the playoffs. That might be something that we should look into boys. All right. So probably a few more games for the Rochester Americans. So I'd like to know what you guys think about what we should do for the AHL playoffs. Let me know and I can arrange that for the next video. Stat Central though. Let's go through this and uh, and see who performed well in the NHL this year. So dead last in our division, Tampa Bay Lightning won the Atlantic Metropolitan Division. Washington Capitals, Pittsburgh, Islanders, and the Rangers. All right. Central Division, Nashville, Dallas, Winnipeg, Chicago, Minnesota are making it in. Damn, St. Louis, last place. It's a stacked division. Pacific Division, Calgary, Los Angeles, Anaheim, San Jose, Edmonton, Arizona, and Vancouver. They didn't get in. All right, let's take a look at the entire league. Where do we stack up? 
Tampa Bay Lightning, the best team in the NHL. So Matt Molson, he's getting the chance to win a Stanley Cup this year. Let's go down here, Buffalo Sabres. This is our draft pick this year. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. The worst team in the NHL. So you guys always complain I never get a superstar because I never finished dead last. Well, there you go. The Buffalo Sabres, worst team in the NHL. We really did tank it, boys. We tanked it horribly. So we've guaranteed ourselves the first or second overall pick this year which I believe is going to be Austin Matthews or Chicharin, right? Whatever his name is. So that's good. We're going to be bringing in someone very nice, unless there's a franchise goalie out there as well. We may have to look into that, right? Player stats for the season. Let's see what our guys did. See what the NHL did as well. Oh, my God. It's doing the turbo. Oh, Jesus. There's so many flaws in this. Look at look at this. Okay, how do I how do I make it stop? What was it? You do this and bring it back? Is that what you do? I gotta, I gotta try to figure stuff out for this game. Yeah, there it is. That fixed it. Come on now, EA. This is ridiculous. Uh, goals. 27 goals for Evander Kane. Jack Eichel. He only played 69 games, but he had 18 goals. Not bad, not bad. Points. 57 for Evander Kane. 57 for Tyler Ennis. 51 for Ryan O'Reilly. Cody Franson. Jack Eichel. Gergensen. Ristolainen. All right, so. Let's see. Uh. I saw somebody's name in there that I wanted to take a look at. Pissick. He used a minus 20. That's not good for him. Never mind. <laughs> Let's go goaltenders. Actually, before we change that, all skaters. Let's go to the NHL and see who led in goals and points and all that. I, I think when I was doing my own, yeah, yeah, this game, not too many point per game players in this. Alexander Ovechkin, 88 points in 82 games played. Tarasenko, 85. Sagan, 78. Taves, 73. Tavares, 73. Backstrom, Stamkos. I mean, Kane, only 67 points in 82 games played. Where the hell is Crosby? Crosby, 63. <laughs> well, I guess he's having a, a weird year so far, so maybe the game is uh, ahead of itself. Goals, do we have a single 50-goal man? Not a, only one 40-goal man, not a single 50-goal man. And not a lot of goals are scored in the simulation for next or current gen. Goaltenders, though, watch. The goalies are going to be just dominating. I bet you. <laughs> it's, it's sorting for goals because I sort for... <laughs> uh, wins, Braden Holpe. We'll go by wins, all right? But look at these stats. Save percentage, almost 940. Hiller, almost 940. 930, 920, 920. <laughs> Jesus. Goals again. How many goalies we got below two? Holpe's below two. Hiller's below two. Bishop is below two. Halak's almost at two. My God, man. Goaltenders dominating this game. Jonathan Quick, 1.7 goals against average. Four goalies below two. Bernier, right on two. <laughs> Save percentage. Well, you won't be able to tell with guys like that. Jonathan Quick, 9.43. Holpe, 9.39. Hiller, 9.35. 9.33. 933. Like it's nothing. 9.31, and you're like 10th place. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. So we can see what the goaltender stats. It really do dominate. So maybe that's uh, maybe that's something we should think about going forward. We should build a defensive team, you know, considering it does pay off. So bye-bye to the NHL season. Now it's time to worry about the AHL squad going into the playoffs. So I want to know, should we bring Jack Eichel down to the AHL uh, playoffs or would it be an insult? Would it actually slow him down? Should he not play any games down there? Worked out for Sam Reinhart, but maybe Jack Eichel's too good. Let me know, boys, and I will see you in the next video when we take it up to the NHL Entry Draft. <laughs>